In the last video, we explained the working, design, and closed loop simulation of a totem pole PFC converter. In today's video, I will demonstrate the MATLAB simulation of a totem pole converter. So let's get started. Add a AC voltage source. Set 230 volt RMS and 50 Hz frequency. Add a voltage measurement block. Connect to the AC voltage source. Add a go to block. Name it as VAC. Add a series RLC branch. And connect in series with the voltage source. Set branch type inductance and value 190 micro handy. Add a current measurement block. Add a go-to block. Name it as IL. Add a MOSFET. Copy the MOSFET and form the half bridge. Add a diode and form another half bridge. Add a series RLC branch. Set branch type capacitance and value 2486 microfarad. Connect it across the bridge. Copy the RLC branch. Set branch type R and value 64 ohms. Add a voltage measurement block. Add a go to block. Name it as V out. Add a constant block. Set reference voltage 400. Add a sum block. Change its sign to plus minus. Connect the V out to sum block. Add API D controller. Set KP2 in KI50. Add a product block. Copy the AC voltage. Add absolute value block. Copy the AC voltage. Add a RMS block. Set frequency 50 and initial RMS value 230. Copy the product block. Change its sign.
Copy the input voltage signal. Add a constant block. Set the value 0. Add a relational operator. Change the operation to greater than or equal to. Add a switch block. Make the criteria U2 greater than threshold. Copy the inductor current signal. Add a gain block. Set the value minus 1. Add a sum block. Change its sign to plus minus. Add APID controller. Set KP10, KI0.5. Add a relational operator. Change the operation to greater than or equal to. Add a repeating sequence. Set the values for 40 kHz, 0 to 1, triangular carrier signal. Add a go-to block. Add a logical operator. Set the operation not. Copy the go-to block. Name it as PWM11. Name it as PWM22. Add a switch block. Copy the block. Connect the PWM signals to the switch block. Add a go-to block. Name it as PWM1. Name it as PWM2. Connect the PWM signal to the gate terminal. Add a power guy block. 
set the simulation type discrete, and sampling time 1 e rise to minus 6. Add a scope. Connect the output voltage to the scope. Copy the scope. Change its settings. Connect the AC input voltage and current to the scope. Now we have connected all the blocks. This is the power circuit. This is the polarity detection block. This is the voltage controller. This is the current controller. And this is the PWM generation block. Now open the model parameter settings. Choose fixed step, ODE8 solver type, and step size, 1E rise to minus 6. Set simulation time 4 seconds and run the simulation. Open the scope to view the output voltage. This is the DC output voltage, which is regulated at 400 volt. This is the input voltage and current. Current looks sinusoidal and also aligned in phase with the voltage. Now change the reference to 450 and run the simulation. Open the scope to view the output voltage. This is the output voltage which is now regulated at 450 volt. This is the input voltage and current. Current looks sinusoidal and also aligned in phase with the voltage. Now change the input voltage to 85 volt RMS and reference value to 400 volt. And run the simulation again. Even though we changed the input voltage, output is still regulated at the reference value. This is the corresponding voltage and current. Since we reduced the voltage, value of current has now increased. This is the end of this presentation. Thanks for watching.